scared her. Hey there, Internet Best Buds, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Ray, and today we're going to be looking at another Vin Diesel movie. Maybe I should start calling these Vinny D Fridays. And maybe I should make a graphic that goes here. There's probably not going to be a graphic. The Vin Diesel movie we're looking at this Friday, The Last Witch Hunter. My nose was itchy. So Vin Diesel plays a witch hunter named Calder, and after a battle with the Witch Queen resulting in her death, Calder is cursed with immortality. 800 years later, and in the modern day, Calder discovers a plot to resurrect the Queen and destroy the world. <coughs> Calder must team up with Chloe, played by Rosie Leslie, and a few other notable characters in order to stop the Witch Queen's return, and probably to save the world. So Vin Diesel, as always, is pretty fun to watch in a movie. He's very charismatic and very likable. You can definitely tell that this is a passion project for him, since he's a huge nerd at heart. I mean, he taught Judy Dench how to play Dungeons and Dragons. And knowing that he is a huge fan of these kind of high fantasy type of characters, it's really nice to actually see him get a chance to play one of them. The rest of the cast gives great performances as well, from Michael Caine to Elijah Wood to Rosie Leslie. They're all fun to watch, and they seem like they're having fun. Also, the relationship between Michael Caine and Vin Diesel's characters is really interesting to watch. It's kind of a father-son dynamic, but reversed because Vin Diesel's 800 years old and Michael Caine's 80 years old. I almost said only 80, but I mean, for us, it's pretty old. For the most part, the visuals and the effects were pretty good, and there were only a few instances where you could tell they should have polished it a little more. There's fun action sequences throughout the film, and the movie also does a great job of world building. Speaking of world building though, I don't think they fleshed out the world as much as they really should or could have. There's a lot that I am really interested in and I would have liked to know more about, but I didn't get to learn more about it. There's a lot of small things that they put into the film in the background that you don't really see too well that I really would have liked explained and talked about a lot more because it could have been really cool. Like in the bonus features, you see Vin Diesel fighting throughout all these different wars and a lot of old pictures. For one, he's at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. It looks like he's in a couple world wars. Just a lot of cool stuff I would like to see them flesh out. The movie does drag a little bit towards the second act, which is unfortunate. For instance, there's a scene where Calder and Chloe go to this high lady witch to get some ingredients to make a dream potion. But it's honestly kind of redundant of stuff we've already seen in the film and it's just kind of unnecessary. Nothing really comes of it. An issue I did have with the film, and it's a problem with a lot of movies, is the directors using different cuts and camera angles to hide possibly less than subpar action. The movie does have good action sequences, and I feel like if they do more wider shots, it would come across better. The John Wick franchise has absolutely spoiled me for this, because all the action in those movies is on screen, and you can follow it perfectly. There's really not many camera angle problems. And I mean, they do this in a lot of movies. It's not just this movie, it's action movies in general. In the end, the movie doesn't do anything that we haven't seen before, and it doesn't really do anything too groundbreaking. It is, however, I think a fun time to watch at least once, and if you're a fan of Vin Diesel and the way he acts, and his charm and charisma and all that good stuff, then, I mean, you'll enjoy the movie. The Last Witch Hunter gets a 6 out of 10. The movie does leave openings for a sequel, which I would be interested in seeing, and it is apparently in development hell right now. That's definitely because the film did not perform well in the box office, However, I would very much be up for seeing more adventures with these characters. I enjoyed the movie. It was good. My question for you internet best buddies this week is, what is your favorite Vin Diesel movie? Let me know down in the comments. I would tell you mine, but that would spoil next Friday's review. Wink, wink. And no, it's not The Pacifier. I don't think that's anybody's favorite Vin Diesel movie over the age of five. So I'll leave an affiliate link down below if you wanted to check out The Last Witch Hunter for yourself. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and listening to me talk about movies. Why don't you go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I put out. If you're a returning internet best buddy, thanks again for coming back and keeping me company in the dark void of the internet. Even though it's kind of light out. If you could, give the video a like so I know that I'm doing good. And share the video with a friend. Thanks again for watching everybody. See ya.